Hey, what's up? This is Kurt. Um, I want to do a quick video uh, showing off some of this stuff here. Uh, <clears throat> now, what I original intent was is to put a... I'm basically building a go box. And for the ham radio viewers that are out there, you know what a go box is. For those of you that don't, basically it's an emergency battery powered, uh, multiple power source powered, preferably, um, communications center. So. I've got this ATA road case with a removable top here that I use for when I did video production, but it's not going to work in, for the needs that I want. I, I want this to be something I can use as a base station, so I've got this workbench here. I want to be able to just kind of prop it up or leave it on a shelf and that be my base radio. I've got a 220 radio here, 1.25 meter. I'm also going to order a, a 2 meter eventually, uh, maybe a 2 meter 440, I don't know, but definitely um, 2 meter as well as uh, 220. Um, I'm in Central Virginia, there's a lot of activity on 220, it's a lot of fun, a lot of like-minded people, so I enjoy doing that. So the first radio I'm putting in is this 220, uh, which I already have on my car as well. Now, what I really want to show off here is this uh, right here. This probably looks a little bit familiar to some of you if you're, if you're dealing with computers at all. What it is is actually a power supply from a computer. Uh, there's videos online about how to make these things work, but basically, I want to show, let me see if I can zoom in on this, I'm going to switch this over, okay, that should let you see super close, um, okay, so you can see I've got a, the voltage and amperage readings on the side, and this will put out 12 volts, 18 amps, so I dialed it up a little bit, and you can see, it's putting out 12 and a half volts and if I key the mic up I get almost uh, it, it really doesn't doesn't change thing much so anyway I'm not gonna get into all that right now so but this is totally doable if you got an old computer lying around like I did you can take a little switch you wire it to the green and any black lead uh, usually the green and the black will be right next to each other on the connector um, that you'll be cutting things off of. Uh, the green and the black, that's going to be your power up. So I've got a switch on there. Um, and then these are the, uh, let's see the rating on these. Um, this is 12 volt, no, this is either the 3 volt or the 5 volt. This is the 5 volt, 5 volt 18 amp. Um, and this is the 12 volt 18 amp. And they're all in the same uh, wire. So you can pretty much cut. There's a whole mess of wires that comes out of this thing. I cut most of them and I kept these just in case I wanted to hook more than one thing up. This is not perfect because this technically wants, it will operate on 12, it technically is going to want 13.8, uh, okay? But it'll operate in a, in a range and so it'll, it'll operate on that. And I just did an amperage test and it's pulling at low power 2.6 amps. So that means, you know, if I've got low, medium, and high, I've got 369, so 9 amps. I've still got 9 amps to go on the radio. Now the idea here is that I run this off a of battery, so I've got a 12 volt, 18 amp hour battery. So it's going to last me approximately an hour's worth of transmit time. Now, I mean, the chances of me transmitting for an hour straight are pretty unlikely, okay? now. Being that this isn't going to work, I said, well, what am I going to put this in? And then I found, uh, I, I had this ammo can that was actually designed for uh, night vision. It was a surplus ammo can. Uh, not even an ammo can, it's just a can. But it had uh, padding in it, so I'm in the process of stripping out the padding. Now, there's a couple different ways I can mount it. I can mount, oh, by the way, just found out something new today. These uh, lids actually just slide right off. And so that's a really nice feature to have for something like this because if I want to mount this on the shelf up here like this, uh, I don't want to have this door getting in my way. So that's kind of nice. Now I can mount this a couple different ways and this is the way I'm probably going to do it where I've got the radio here and I'll probably put another one here and I can actually screw right into the side of, of this into these um, mounts right here. That makes sense. Let me switch this back so a little bit wider focus. Um, so this, this has got some real potential here and the only question is for this box is will my battery fit inside it and will it fit in the proportion upright method that I want to actually mount it and I think it will 
because if I put the radio here and then the, when I get the two meter here, I still have all this space there and, and in large part in the back as well. Uh, but I want to really the reason I wanted to make this video is to say the the fun thing about ham radio is the experimentation you can do and the fun you can have. I had that stupid old computer wasting away and collecting dust. I said, I wonder if I can use that power supply. Looked online and uh, sure enough, you can. And the, it was uh, a little bit questionable at first, but uh, it, it worked. And so I'm going to have a really nice. Uh, ham setup here. I've got two antennas mounted outside. And so what will happen is I'll have uh, connectors on here and I'll have uh, see I got these BNC barrel connectors um, That go through this ATA case But a barrel's a barrel whether it's a ham radio or whether it's a video That's the one thing that you can actually you're not gonna have um, ohm problems with the cable whereas this cable has to be the right ohm rating um, and in this case let's see where's the rating on here I'm not seeing it well that's not the purpose of this video so you've got a lot of options ham radio but uh, with this I'll be able to in an emergency if I'm responding and want to go help somewhere I can take my radio gear with me make a few roll-up antennas with cable like this with a uh, what's called a J pole and then I can just basically set up anywhere and help with communications and with a box like this and if I can get myself some power um, I'll have uh, the option of eventually having solar panels and it'll feed into I'll have some sort of a, a method by which to attach uh, wires um, or uh, a connection here on the side just like I'll have these so hopefully that uh, Hopefully I didn't geek out too much on you. I've just been pretty excited about this. The stuff is finally coming in and, and the orders are finally showing up where I can put all this together. So I just thought I'd do a quick little video.